The Witch is the scariest religion-based horror movie I've seen this year since Risen. This is a horror movie that understands what makes a great horror movie is subtext. While subtext does not guarantee a great horror movie, it at least guarantees an interesting one. This is a slow burn meditation on religion and its pitfalls, and a critique of the idea of belief systems in general. Despite the implications of what the movie is saying, The Witch never forgets it's a horror movie, and it's batshit crazy to say the least. One of my favorite aspects of the movie is the production design and the lighting. It reminds me a lot of The Shining in terms of its slow pace and camera movements and its reliance on tracking shots. The lighting is crucial to the tone of the movie as it not only captures the greediness of the time period, but also captures the darkness of the story itself. The soundtrack is pretty awesome, amplifying how chaotic and unnerving the movie is. While the movie isn't scary, it excels in making you feel on edge and creating some disturbing ass imagery. There are a lot of scenarios in the movie that sound like a funnier die sketch on paper, but is actually executed really well. My complaints about the movie are relatively small. Some of the character logic towards the end of the movie is kind of weird, but there is an explanation in the story for it. Most of the performances in the movie are pretty good, since the actors all talk in an accent natural to the time. However, these really heavy accents combined with the actors speaking in the vernacular of the time makes it really fucking hard to understand what they're saying. There were points in the movie where I was thinking to myself, what, 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 what the fuck are you saying? Could you, could you repeat that? No, no? Oh, I understand that was supposed to be important, but okay. The outcome of some scenes were also kind of obvious, especially the scene in the barn. However, I have to give it to Robert Eggers for making such a unique horror movie. At times, it even reminded me of Don't Look Now, which is probably my favorite horror movie of all time, and that's not really an easy task considering how good of a movie it actually is. The people who aren't going to like this movie are either A. Those assholes who just won't shut the fuck up in the theater and think they're too cool to take this seriously, and keeps the people around them from paying attention to what the hell is happening. Hey kids, how would you like to hear this on the street instead of the great show you came to see? That's what you sound like. Honest. Please cooperate and do your part in keeping this theater quiet so everyone, including you, can enjoy. I remember lots of adults and kids too paid admission to enjoy the show. We must insist on absolute fight. Or B, the people who will understandably find the movie too slow for their liking. I'm giving this movie an 8 out of 10, so if you don't mind heavy English accents or slow pacing, you should go see it. Also, don't be that guy. Seriously, shut the fuck up when you're in the theater. There are actually people who are there who want to watch the movie.